Welcome to our Tech Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer facing a performance challenge. The question is, why is random memory access using MMPate data about 16% slower than accessing data directly from the heap? Let's explore this issue together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. In this video, we will explore the performance difference between using MMAP and heap memory access in a large data structure. Our data structure can grow up to 300 gigabytes, and we need to understand why MMAP is slower. First, let's look at the setup. We are using a server with 128 gigabytes of RAM and running Scientific Linux 7.2 with a 3.1 known kernel. This setup is sufficient to hold our entire data structure in memory. Now, let's examine the code used for performance measurement. We have two versions, one that uses malloc for heap allocation and another that uses MMAP for memory mapping. Both versions perform random accesses to the data structure. The results show that the MMAP version is consistently slower with a performance gap of about 16%. We tried various MMAP flags, but the performance did not improve. This indicates that MMAP may introduce overhead that affects access speed. To close this performance gap, consider optimizing your memory access patterns or using memory advice functions like POSIX Madvise. These can help the operating system manage memory more efficiently. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The slowdown in MMMAP memory access might not be due to MMAP itself, but rather the mapping to a file. Linux malloc uses MMAP for large allocations, but without a file, which could be faster. The syncing of memory to disk could be causing the slower performance, similar to constant file saving. Testing MMAP without a file using MAP Anonymous might show different results. Interestingly, the slower access might actually be beneficial in the long run, as saving in small increments could improve performance compared to locking large data to disk all at once. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.